Welcome back everyone. Yes, yet another beer review. Uh, funny enough, I've just been, uh, I, I, I said in the video that I'm uploading at the moment, uh, the Lagunitas one, that my wife uh, went to Asda, picked up a four pack of that, and a four pack of Duopolis from Brewdog, uh, for nine quid, just sort of quickly chuck that in. And I thought, oh, I've reviewed the Duopolis, uh, and I've just been roaming through my videos. And clearly it was one that I think I must have just done a written review on. Uh, so I haven't actually done a video on it. So so the next beer up, as you can imagine, is from Brewdog. And it's their Duopolis. And it's Oat Cream Double Dry Hopped IPA coming in at 4.7% in a 330ml can. As I said, two four packs for nine quid. So this can of beer is coming in at £1.12 a can. Uh, now, it, I, I like doing this sometimes, funny enough, uh, I, sometimes I find that when you've had a beer once, the next time you have it, it, it can be totally different, whether it's just me, or whether the beer has changed slightly. Uh, I wouldn't imagine this has changed, because it's not that old anyway, this beer, so I would imagine they're still doing the same thing. But it will be interesting anyway. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is sort of pretty much... Probably one of the final beers Brewdog out had out with their their original sort of can design, and I have no idea where uh, Audi's got their anti-establishment design from. Not a clue. Uh, but yeah, I much prefer their their thing anyway. The old design, much more interesting. So let's get this out of the can, get it into a glass, see what we get. Uh, Four point seven percent, I think I did say. So I know. Uh, some people really slated this. Uh, a lot of people didn't mind it. I've got to admit, I thought it was it was quite enjoyable. Uh, give it a bit of a swirl. I won't fill it right up. Did I see? Uh, Do you see there? And get it. See there. Bit of sediment in there. So, I mean, hopefully that's a good sign. But for me. We're getting a lemon in the camera. It's looking more lemon. It is it's sort of like a lemon orange color. Bit of sediment. I'm not seeing much carbonation. There's probably a, a finger, good finger of spacious foamy head that's sort of going a little bit. Try and get a bit more in there. Uh, I personally think that looks quite good. It's quite inviting. So I'll give it a swirl and get this big thing in there and hopefully with no head on the end let me know so yep juicy you get the juicy hoppy tropical sort of notes to it uh, maybe a little bit piney as well I mean it smells nice I think that smells all right but as we all know the proof is in the taste so let's dive in so cheers everyone Go in again. Thin body. Oat cream double dry hot IPA. I wouldn't say that. for me there's no sort of oatiness, no I wouldn't say it's any sort of it's added any body to the beer. Quite thin. Mouth feels just as it is. Not particularly offensive, but nothing outstanding. Four point seven percent. There's quite a bit of It's it's maybe I'm getting ahead of it. Let's let's leave the percentage bit out. Uh, it's a bit piney. You get the piney. You're getting the the tropical notes in there as you tend to get with most of these sort of pale ales and that. You're getting you're getting that hoppy 
hoppy taste in there. Anyone that drinks these will know, you know what I mean, you get them hoppy notes in there. 4.7%, is it drinking like that? Uh, <clears throat> drinks very easy. The bitterness will give it the impression maybe of that. Excuse me. Uh, it's all right. That is. I mean, it's not. It's 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 no world beater. It's not going to blow your mind. But I tell you what. What have I had? Uh, a, a few from Pentrick Brewing. Now I don't want to. I don't want to slate these. But at the end of the day, they're doing these beers that aren't cheap. They've cost me over five pound a can. All, all the the three that I had from Pentrick Brewing, and they're so heavily hot and so heavily juicy and so little carbonation that for me it sort of ruins it a little bit uh, whereas this it's got a little bit of carbonation it's it's not punching you in the face with hops sometimes hops can I, I think that sometimes hops can be a bit too too much uh, this is for me it's just about right really you're getting the hoppiness you're getting the pineness you're getting the bitterness it's not and there's that little bit of carbonation that gives it a bit of a mouthfeel rather than like just still juice uh yeah i think that's all right uh, I'm, I'm weighing off a bit here to go in some different directions i think that's all right uh I can't remember if it's probably as good as what I remember it being really uh, not gonna blow your mind but it's got the hoppiness it's got the juiciness it's got the bitterness it's what you ex sort of expect oat cream I wouldn't say it's particularly creamy in the mouth or anything let's give it one more go just see No, it's not particularly sort of creamy or nothing. It's if you hold it in the mouth, it feels like it's got a bit more body to it than just just drinking it. But but yeah, so there you go. My views on this is uh, Christ. I mean, at the price my missus got it, one pound twelve a can, worth every penny to be honest. Uh, an, an ice drink, uh, much better than sort of like your value bloody Aldi's Lidl's range. So yeah, uh, if you're thinking of picking it up, by all means, pick one up, try it. If you, if you like an IPA, you're going to know what you're expecting from a double dry hops IPA. You're getting that in there. Uh, if you've had it before, uh, tell me what you think. Like I said, two for nine quid. So you could always pick like eight cans of this up for, for nine quid, one pound 12 a can or something. Uh, and that's about it really i enjoy it obviously everyone's got their own different tastes but i think that's pretty decent uh, no world beater but just a, just a good solid sort of supermarket craft beer so uh thanks for watching everyone enjoy whatever you're drinking like share this video subscribe to my channel as i always say don't forget i'm on twitter all the beer no idea and facebook thank you to everyone for watching all this stuff and i'll see you again on another beer review very soon so cheers